All right, just down at my local lake today. Uh, just gonna do a quick video. A few hours, it is really cold. Um, just part of lake piking. Um, done a bit of piking on the free stretches of the river, like the River Eden and the Thames and that. There's loads of park lakes all over the place, especially in Surrey where we are here, um, that, that have lakes that you can fish for free and they're full of pike and there's some big ones in there. This, this lake in particular has a 20 pounder that's quite well known. But there's loads of double figure pike and obviously when it's cold like this you're not going to pick up as many carp and big fights and big fish that you would normally. So it's a good way to get out there and catch some double figure fish in this cold weather. Um, I'm basically just float fishing uh, dead bait. Um, I've got sardines. Again, this is, they're really cheap and you can make them go a long way. I end up cutting mine into at least three bits so I've got small segments um, with a flaky end that's letting all the oil and bits of fish off to attract the pike in this cold weather. And they are sitting dead um, on the bottom generally. And when you get the fish in, you can see they've got leeches all over them where they've been sitting up in the weed and on the bottom quite hard. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. We've got one ledged out quite deep and uh, one floating in not too far, probably about sort of 30 metres out just on the ledge that I know that's there. Um, I've caught fish on that ledge in summer, but I'm not too sure if they're going to be this shallow. They're probably in deeper water, so the ledger will probably be the better bet, but we'll soon find out. Um, also, what I wanted to do as well, just give you a quick rundown of just the bare minimum gear that you really need to do park lake piking. Uh, just because you've got to look after the fish, they are uh, that the pike aren't as hardy as they look. You really do need to uh, look after them. So I'll just show you a bare minimum bit of gear that you can get you out and uh, get you catching bike. Stay tuned. Right, I thought I'd just give you a bit of a run through of just the basics that you need for park lake park lake piking. A bit of a tongue twister there, but just fucking forceps major major thing to unhook them even with these you will get nicks in the teeth but you need these to unhook the pike especially if you get one deep and not quick enough you need these to get them out and put the fish back as well as it came out um unhooking that just like carp fishing you've got to look after it um i generally like to gill the pike out because you can get some horrible tangles with the trebles and the fish throwing around in one of the nets um, but still, you need a nice big net so that you can, once you're unhooked, you can put the fish back, rest it while you get your camera set up, things like that. But apart from that, obviously, you trace. You can get really good traces that are set up or pre done in the shop. Any tackle shop will give you a quick talk through, or you can buy the, uh, the bulk packs and make them up. Um, I generally use uh, trebles, uh, just semi treble with one single barb just to put in the bait, and the other two are barbers just so they come out the fish easier. Um, but you can get all types. I've also tried the uh, single hooked uh, barb so I can put small chunks of fish on because sometimes I don't think the pike are interested in a big meal, it's just a quick snack as it, it's sitting there. But we'll see how we go. Uh, as you can see, I've got my rod set up as if I was carping. Um, even my uh, dead bait I've got on the float, I've got on a bite alarm, just so I can distinguish between wind bites and if the wind, um, the wind's mucking around with it too much, it can be quite hard to tell. And obviously sometimes you, uh, you're looking at something else and you, you miss a bite, so it's just an extra little added indication. And um, you can just see that, sorry, you can just see there, um, that's my float, just there. Not too far, probably about 30. 35 meters out uh, just on a bit of a ledge that I know that's there from uh, piking around June uh, just when the season started and uh, obviously a bit more active with the warmer weather um, but the other rod is just to the right basically dead center basically between those those two black cars so uh, we'll see how we go
All right, Park Lake Piking. Lovely. I was just about to give up hope, believe it or not. Sitting here for about two hours, nothing on either rod and getting really cold. So I was thinking, screw it, I'm gonna go. And I just got a take, lovely. See if we can get him out. Before he came in a bit slow to be fair. A bit of weed on the line, so I want to get him in. Winter piking. Lovely, it's getting it. All right, come down today for a bit of Park, park Lake piking. Uh, it's, it's for a reason. It's about I think, 5th or 6th of December. Um, I was literally about to give up hope, to be fair. I've been here for two hours. I only had sort of one and a half dead baits left over and um, decided just to give it a massive lob out into the middle of the lake for the last sort of 15 minutes and it went off. So let's have a look. It looks like a double, but we'll give it away and uh, see what it is. <laughs> yeah, I've had him sitting in the net, so he's a bit lively. It was a funny fight. He come in really, really easily. And then suddenly went ape. But um, he's giving me a bit of a nick on the hand, so there's a bit of red claret. Let's have a look. Lovely fish. Really thick. He's munching a lot of rope. So, come on, be a be a for me. This is the thing with having him sitting in the net, but. I like to gill the fish out and unhook it and then sit it in the net while you get everything ready to get your picture done. Look at that. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Look at that. Beautiful colours. Lovely. Excellent. Bad way to spend the day off work. Excellent. Let's get a bit of a closer shot. Just for a picture. Lovely colours on it. I hope you can see it. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful fish. That's what it's worth sticking out in the cold weather for. Brilliant. Lovely. Alright, let's give it away. See what she weighs. Lovely fish.
lovely. Where are we? That showing up there's 12 pound. That's it. Really the neck weighs about a pound or just under when it's wet, so it's 11 and a bit pounds, that's not bad. Nice double figure. Right. Here you go. I'd say it would be a girl, being a double figure. Look at that. Predator. Perfect predator. They are gorgeous. I love them. Some people can't stand them, but I absolutely love them. This time of year, it's hard to catch carp and other sort of specimen fish that you'd go after, but these things are quite easy. Give up a good scrap. Look at that. See you later. Bang! <laughs> and away it goes. Look at that. Brilliant. Alright, well it's got to the three hour stage of the uh, session. I'm absolutely frozen. <laughs> And I haven't had uh, much, much after that double. So um, I'm thinking about packing up. I know it's a bit uh, lightweight of me only doing three hours, but I basically got what I wanted. Um, time to head to the pub, I think. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, get some more, uh, some more pike videos on the go. And um, still uh, sort of dotting around on the free stretches and park lakes, just showing you what's around, um, mainly in Surrey. But we'll see where we go. Stay tuned and uh, tight lines wet next.